Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a comparison with two excellent 1911s made by Springfield Armory. Over here we've got the 1911 Garrison, just a beautiful handgun. And the Garrison has been around a while, but this one has a four and a quarter inch barrel. It's chamber and 45 ACP. They make another model in nine millimeter, but they released this in early 2024 with the four and a quarter inch barrel. It was highly demanded that they make the garrison in a four and a quarter inch barrel, and they did that earlier this year. But most recently, they released an all black emissary. Now the emissary is just a beautiful 1911. It has the modern features that shooters love. This is a little more traditional, but they will compare well because they are both models of their previous models that so many people love, but this black garrison just screams beauty. So let's get after it. We'll start with the garrison. That shine just stands out with the stainless steel model. They make another model that's called hot salt blue that is equally as fine looking but this has a wood grip with the Springfield Armory logo right there a little more traditional with the wood grip and one seven round magazine this is priced to sell right at 917 with the MSRP and it is so nice looking all the rounded parts have a matte finish all throughout and then the side of the slide has a mirror like finish you can see the top strap right there and that that shine just is just a beautiful looking handgun but it performs just as well as it looks because it is really nice and you look at that trigger pull you're looking at right at four pounds and i love the springfield 1911s because the trigger is just so nice. It has three dot no back style sights. Serrations in the rear, not so much in the front. It uses a GI style guide rod, so it's a little more traditional, but it certainly looks and shoots excellent. I love the way this handles. And when you show your buddies this gun, they say, wow, that thing is a stunner. And it really is. The flat mainspring housing has 20 line per inch. The front strap has no checkering at all. And you get a great grip of the pistol when holding it. But Springfield also recently released the all black emissary. Now, people who have the emissary, they love it because it has modern features. A little more modern than the garrison traditionalists may go for the garrison but the modern shooters will say give me that emissary this comes with two eight round mechgar mags opposed to one with the garrison and it has g10 grips that are rather grippy but the front strap and the flat mainspring housing model the g10 grips and and when you grip this you have the same texturing all throughout and it sure does feel nice it has a five slot picatinny rail on the dust cover this is cerakoted black the tri top slide there is so nice and it has a four and a quarter inch bushingless bull barrel and that certainly cuts down on the recoil quite a bit a flat trigger a solid body flat trigger that breaks right around the same weight just under four pounds with that reset that is so nice the sights are very different it has the u notch in the rear that does come to a point where you could charge it off a boot charge it off a belt if you had to and a tritium front dot modern features all throughout feels great and once again much like the garrison when i took this to the range on several occasions it shot so well when i originally got the first emissary I was so impressed. I said, this has no learning curve. You just point and shoot, and this black model was no different. It shouldn't be, and it wasn't. It was very nice. Now, the, the Emissary MSRP is 1378 so we're looking at a major price difference here of $461. Here you get two mags, and you get the modern features. Here you, you have a beautiful handgun that is less expensive. So let's go ahead and run it down. 
Here we have Fiocchi Hyper Performance XTP 230 grain hollow points. No problem. Fiocchi Hyper Performance 230 grain jacketed hollow points. Problem. Both these are made with the finest materials with the forged steel frame, slide, and match grade barrels. You do not miss out on craftsmanship with any Springfield Armory 1911, that's for sure. Let's start with the mags. One seven round mag with the garrison, two eight round mech guard mags with the emissary. You have to give it to the emissary for that. As far as the Grip is concerned. You can see it has wood grip. I mentioned traditionalists would like that. G10 grips over here. I have to go with the G10 grips. And once again, I'm giving that to the emissary. The garrison has a GI style guide rod. Okay, you can always know that because you won't see the guide rod when the slide is pushed back. As where the emissary has a bull barrel, but we do have a full length guide rod right there and th therefore the disassembles a little different you have to get a pin and hold that spring back with the pin to disassemble it a little easier for those who know 1911s to take down and disassemble i'm giving that to the garrison just a little easier although the emissary with that bull barrel has its advantages really cuts down on the recoil with the 45 acp i love both of the triggers a little round there and it is just such a nice trigger just shy of four pounds and this has a full body flat face trigger i really can't say that i would choose one over the other i like the flat trigger and i like the traditional trigger that they have the skeletonized one with the with the garrison so i'm calling that one a draw if we look at the sights we have three dot novak sights right here with the garrison we have the u-notch tritium front sight i have to go with the emissary on that whenever you put a night sight on there that's always an advantage and i have become very accustomed to that u-notch with some of the other springfield armory handguns primarily the Hellcat models and the Echelon, just such a nice sight picture. I'm giving that one to the Emissary. As far as the looks are concerned and the overall finish, I don't know. There's something about this garrison that just strikes me. I love the Emissary. Don't get me wrong. That all black is just so nice, but that mirror-like finish, it's a show-off piece both these are but i have to go with the garrison on that one in terms of the shooting impressions i cannot call a winner on that because each time i've shot these they were so fine i love that bull barrel with the emissary a little more traditional with the bushing on the 1911 garrison but i i just can't say one's better than the other because they both hit my target when I shoot and I love ring and steel with both of these both chambered and 45 ACP in terms of the price I already mentioned it's a $461 less MSRP at 917 with the garrison how can I not go with the garrison on that however if I had money flowing out of my pockets I'd certainly choose the emissary because that thing is so nice I like that tri-top slide that the garrison does not have once again a little more traditional there's something about that tri top slide it also has serrations on the top strap to cut down on the glare it just offers more for the money the emissary does but the springfield 1911 garrison is priced to sell i love them both if i had to choose one and i was on a budget garrison all day long if I had a couple extra bucks, maybe hit a bonus at work or something, I'm going with the Emissary because this offers so much. Beautiful with both. Excellent shooting impressions with both. Built, extremely strong, tough. 
the kind of 1911 you could hand down to your children once you're gone. That's what you're looking for. That's what you're getting. And those are my impressions of both of these 1911 Springfield Armory handguns. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.